my name is Jay, uh, Jay Espy, and I live in 2800 University Avenue. I've been here 22 years. I'm part of the People Power Movement, Movimiento Poder Popular. The Kingsbridge Armory, which is a few blocks away, they're redeveloping it into the world's largest ice skating center. And basically, we thought, we predicted that it would turn uh, the neighborhood around for the worse because whenever there's redevelopment in the city, particularly in communities of color, poor communities of color, the neighborhood changes so that those people are no longer there and white, middle class, upper class people start moving in along with corporate stores, uh, big chain stores. As the organization, we supported the tenants to create or recreate a uh, tenant association last month to fight rent increases in the building, particularly MCI rent increases. And so we've been with the tenants on their side ever since, ever since then. So I want to pose the question, why do you think our rent is going to go up? Why do you think the landlord wants to raise our rent? So se les quiere poner a ustedes la pregunta, ¿por qué creen que ahora este casero quiere aumentar la renta? They broke this, it been more than a month. This part here, like two months, okay? Then they did the other one. And we was like, because then they broke it, and they, they when they broke the, those pieces of cement, all those was still here there, so until last week. They removed it because they uh, uh, called the city. Jay called the city. And then they started to move, started to clean up because we couldn't even bring the garbage downstairs to the outside. We couldn't even bring the garbage because it was in such a condition. You couldn't walk because you could, could fall because all those pieces broken, cemented, and we've been for that for months already. And they still haven't completed the job. So look at that condition with that walk. That walk can, can fall maybe any time. Who knows? Yeah. I've been living here for over 10 years. I've been living here with my family. <laughs> Something fell in the bathroom. And I told the super. And especially he told them. And almost two weeks now. But I met the super on Friday and I said, what's going on? He said, he spoke to him and said, they're ordering it. Or oh, something will take you two weeks. I have a mold resistance or whatever they call it. It depends within a short time the mold start coming again. Call to your own one. Okay. Yeah, let them know. Complain about the mold, the window, okay. everything you told me before. Yeah. And I don't think this yeah. this this things are good. You see they start getting rusty. You see all these things getting rusty now. If I have a car. And I rented to a driver to be driving, and something happened to the car. Is it the driver that will fix the car? No, the owner has to fix the car to keep the car moving so that I could benefit from the car. But here it looks like we are now going to fix the house, and now and we are going to pay for it too. My trabajo está aquí en la casa. Yo tengo un daycare, un family daycare. Tuve que cambiar porque yo tenía el daycare en la sala y por el liqueo. Tuve que moverlo y cambiar todo, todo eh, la temática que yo tenía antes porque ellos nunca venían a arreglar y era un peligro para los niños tener eso, ese liqueo ahí. Eso se ha caído, cada mes se cae. Entonces eso, ya el liqueo era tan grande que dañó la pared completa. Mira que hasta abajo todavía. Nosotros llamamos al 311 porque ya no cansamos con ellos de dar el complaint y el 311 vino. Eh, por el espacio he tenido que reducir la cantidad de niños que yo puedo cuidar porque aquí hay menos espacio. El piso está dañado también, el piso de la cocina. Mira, mira esa bombilla, tres días. A mí no me hace cambiarla porque yo tengo bombilla, pero no es mi deber hacerlo. ¿Tú entiendes? El agua caliente el fin de semana no había agua caliente. Esto es a cada rato. Yo lo que digo es que ellos no lo hacen porque ellos quieren que uno se desespere y se mude. Y ellos sacar el doble de lo que ellos están sacando hoy. We've been dedicated to connect the issue um, with the tenants, issues to the Kingsbridge Armory redevelopment, 
because this is not just a building issue, this is also a neighborhood issue, and not only that, it's a citywide issue. We were standing in front of the store on Kingsbridge Road and University Avenue that was recently closed down because the rent went up about three times higher than it was uh, originally. And the landlord forced this rent hike after the announcement that the Kingsbridge Armory was gonna be turned into the world's largest ice center. And so basically, the store owner refused to leave, he refused to pay the rent increase, and the marshal had to come and kick him out, basically. That's why you see a sign on the door that says that the marshal came. And I just wanna point out that this is not normal, that uh, stores closing down on this area is not normal. Uh, so this store has been closed down, the store on Kingsbridge Road to my right, a liquor store has been closed down, uh, down this block, a Chinese store has been closed down, that has been there for more than two decades, at least as long as I've been here in this neighborhood, and also a furniture store has been closed down. And so what you see is a, a minor instance of resistance by store owners in this area to this rent increase. My name is Christian Ramos, the Kimberly Merchant Association, como vice president. Y también ahora, eh, por 10 años, estoy como en la zapatería de Blue Shoes. This is Miguel Ramos. This is Kim's Gift Shop, 6 West, Kingsbridge. And, and we are a gift shop. We sell toys, luggages, and a little bit of clothes, like a little bit of everything. The problem is that Recently, the businesses across the street, which are 13 businesses along Kingsbridge Road and Jerome Avenue, were hit with 100% uh, and up rent increases, meaning that the rent was going to go up double for these businesses. Recientemente hubieron negocios aquí en Jerome Avenue que quisieron subir su renta de 2,000 a 4,000, de 3,000 to 6,000, or capital restaurant from 7,500 7, to 1,500. You know, some quantities que le están doblando. Around here they have for, the, for, for business in the, this area for 20 years, 30 years. Like Carlo Flower Show, 25 years. Like uh, Perista Restaurant, 20, 25 years. And in two years he have to leave. He gotta, he gotta leave because the, the lease is gonna expire. The landlord wanna put a new type of business, you know. Meanwhile, these businesses either, men, most of them, actually, almost all of them don't have a lease with the landlord. The landlord has changed. The previous landlord was bankrupt, so they have a new landlord now who basically doubled their rent, right? And so the businesses got together with the Merchant Association and they started to fight back. They went to the community board meeting in the area and they started demanding that their rent not go up 100% or more and that they demanded also to have a lease. They've been asking for a lease and stuff, and I think he went for vacation, and there's always an excuse. Oh, he's on vacation. Oh yeah, he'll call you. He won't call, you know? So that's what my boss said. I'm holding the rent, see if that pulls him in. You know, so that's, that's what his trick is. And then once he pulls him in, we we'll talk about what, you know, what can we do. Vemos que el impacto de un área cuando va a cambiar siempre hay un cambio fuerte y la persona y los merchants que están por muchos años se tienen que ir y otros nuevos que llegan con un brand name, con una economía fuerte, con un capital de, de, de fuerte para su nuevo negocio, sea un franchise, sea un, un owner nuevo que tenga la posibilidad de hacerlo fuertemente, él cambia y él impacta. Estos, estos áreas así terminan cambiando. Now, People Power Movement started meeting with these business owners and started meeting with the Merchant Association to make it clear that it's not just the business owners in the area on Cambridge Road that are affected, but also the tenants in the area. So the, the, the people who are targeted by these rent hikes are the business owners and the tenants that live in the area. I spoke to a couple of kids. I said, yo, what happened if they open up the, the, the um, ice skating ring and you don't get a job? He goes, yo, I'll be mad. Because I was one that voted for it. I mean, you're scared to go to work. I'm gonna be like, is it today's the day I go to the store and the paper on, is on the gate? I'm gonna be like, jeez. We sign up to be uh, agreed, to be agreed with uh, this armory. We think we, everything will be fine. We're gonna keep this area like a like local area and at the same time, like keep the same mom and pop store. 
we never thought, we no pensamos nunca que esto iba a perjudicar a los negocios del, del, de aquí, el de la zona. Que los negocios, que los dueños tengan que irse porque la renta le iba a subir cuando su lista termine. Ellos quieren que uno se mude para así rentarlo al doble el apartamento. We're just waiting for it to happen because that's what I was discussing with my founders. I say, for the near future, if you don't take them, we might be sleeping outside because where are you going to go? If you can pay a rent, they kick you out. Maybe they kick you out and you have to go to the shelter then. On Tuesday, November 18th, People Power Movement, alongside Kingsbridge residents and allies, came together in front of the Kingsbridge Armory for a community speakout to denounce, among other issues, rising rent hikes, land harassment, and the ongoing gentrification that community members are now facing. To gain entry for gentry, the evidence, a Starbucks in your tenement. Taxing the sediment, attacking your sentiments, move out your homes, make way for new residents, nowhere to go so they find that irrelevant, take over hoods with incentive of presidents. Word on the street is that the Heights is a place to buy. What does that mean for people just like you and I? Fact is, in honesty, a hood life anomaly. An influx of wealth, high attacks on the property, smooth demonology shifted up the demograph, rude sociology shifted at the devil laughs. We got the power! We got the power! What kind of power? We got the power! We got the power!